Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today. There's a brand new video, brand new camera angle. Like look, I think this angle is doing me a little bit of justice. You guys let me know. But basically, I'm going to be reviewing you guys' the portfolios or portfolio projects in today's video. We're basically going to go through, get some opinions, get some cool projects, be, like just look at some cool stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully in the return, you guys really like that and you want to see some more. And if you ever want to be a part of these videos, follow me on Twitter at SwitchQ and also join my Discord, discord.gg. Um, yeah, hopefully it's fun. Hopefully it's cool. And that's that's it. Hopefully if you're in a bit of a creative rut or a creative block and whatnot, for me, portfolio reviewing is my favorite thing to do, getting some more experience in my brain and uh, just some more design overall. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, please forget to like it. <laughs> English is so hard. Why is it so hard? If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like on the video. And that's all I got. And subscribe as well. I love you guys. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Next project is by Stream Spell. Okay, I'm looking at a Viking Odin stream package. First off, dude. <laughs> the the be <laughs> dude, the heading. Dude, what in the world? That is actually ridiculously cool. I love this. The, the, I love the information. The panels, ooh, gives me a bit of a, a, a bit of a, how do you say, Dark Souls vibe. I'm um, su super, super dope. Oh, this is really, f oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Lord. This is so dope. What in the world? Dude, I love, I also, I'm a big, big fan of the fact that you kind of see all the animations at once. I can kind of like dive in. I feel more engaged, almost as if, if it was more just like, I'm looking at one, like one at a time. I feel like that would not do it for me. I feel like looking at all of them like this is a really, really nice way to kind of get the viewer engaged. Like I am right now, I'm super engaged. I'm looking at this, if I click the play button. Okay, holy hell. This is a very, very, very well, well thought out project, right? Like if I were looking at this right now, I would only realistically think that, hey, I'm gonna like animate the smoke, right? But for me, I can see like the little animation on the bird and all the birds flying. It's not as crazy in a way, not complicated, but more hard to execute the way you actually navigate toward it. So I'm a big, big fan of how you actually draw this together, to be honest. I love that everything kind of matches. It's almost like all in the same sort of, of course, realm and color scheme even when you don't see the actual gate you can still feel that it's a part of the actual elements around like actually amazing the overall feeling of this entire thing is actually so 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 dope and the very nice dramaticness of it very you can see like all the executions everyone's their own expert in their own kind of field i mean they honestly killed this product it's so 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 nice if i had like anything at all to say i would only suggest maybe in this universe possibilities if even if they didn't want to like kind of like make new shields or new uh kind of like arches like look at the animations in the arches right super super dope i almost feel like if, if i can see it uh how do you say not less but almost like change the arch a little bit or even take away the arch just have the only the actual atmosphere around just so i can get more i guess how do you say variety in the actual scenes but overall super super dope these guys killed it So next project we have from Dewi for his personal branding identity. Okay, so this is definitely sort of like this little logo kind of, I'm guessing a full identity project. Um, initially a uni project, which I decided to flesh out. Um, so I didn't think my branding at the time really represented me. So this is the whole project for it. Gotcha. I mean, this, this, this looks super nice. I love the little sort of typography text here. Very simple little sub information here as well. Your logo is actually pretty sick too. I can't, I can't lie. It's like this little fun sort of like upside down, almost like a smiley face, but it, it needs a, like an, a sort of like T, right? It's definitely like a T in there. Something yeah, in there. You'll see it as you scroll down, man. You'll see. Your brief. Who am I? I can't lie. The, the, the sort of like motion element to this actual project here as well. Very, very simple, subtle information here. But at the same time, since it's moving, even with a simple little scroll, it makes the project look so much more engaging, super, super nice. And uh, it makes me feel like I want to get more involved. Um, Sketch idea. Ooh, oh, dude. I love, love, love when people include their sketches in their projects. That's a very, it's a very impressive way to kind of like showcase how your brain is actually working rather than kind of like throwing things on the paper and saying, this is point A to point B, or not even point A to point B, this is point B and that's it. Like that's it, that this, to me, just shares so much creativity and knowledge how you actually navigate things. This is so, so pretty. And also kind of shows the way as well that you didn't kind of like one and done it, you really thought it through. Dude, even like the sort of like little black sort of like, uh, how do you say, a little texture in here, a very, very simple and nice texture that's not too aggressive, almost like a camel kind of theme going on here. And honestly works yeah. very, very well in my opinion. Yeah, it's my thumbprint to make it like really unique and personal. It's your thumbprint? Yeah. Wait, dude, that is so okay. Wait. <laughs> Actually, it's so smart. 
<laughs> I don't know about that, but thank you, thank you. No, that is just it's uh, it's so it's such a such a little simple like kind of like thing that you would never almost kind of like even realize until you if you would have never said that I was like oh you just an illustrator like a uh, uh, illustrator pattern like no this is your little thumb yeah stamped on some paper scan in Bob's your uncle in it dude actually insanely cool oh oh my goodness it's a Morse code <laughs> oh god. You actually nailed that. That is actually so, so cool. It even reads dash dot dot for a T as well. And then you have, of course, or your D as well. And then you have a T inside a little negative space. The actual logo itself almost looks like a very fun, sort of like just a fun, like upside down smiley face, some kind of face feature. Incredible, actually incredible. Very good typography choice as well. And you're good looking, dude. You're, you're killing it, dude. What the f Don't be daft. No, uh, honestly, like you can cut this out of the video if you want, but when I was younger, like watching your channel, um, along with a couple others, of course, like the future, for example, yep. like literally taught me how to design. Um, so I've gone to university now and it's pretty much taught me nothing, if I'm honest. So a lot of my stuff comes from yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. Um, like... Thank you. It's actually so nice to say. Um, well, I mean, for one, you just took whatever you learned from me and kind of just ran with it and made it did exactly what I would only ever hope to, to, to make sure you do. You know what I mean? Like you actually killed this flow lines of the actual product overall just just makes it all feel so so pretty the little simple little animation stuff going on here. You honestly killed this killed this killed this. Thank you. Killed so, so. I really appreciate your time. This. Holy shit. All right, so next up we got Tyler Wyatt. This first one's actually really pretty. I definitely, I, I don't know what it is about the, the immediate thing I noticed was the corners. I was gonna be like, are the corners clean? And they're actually not, which for me just says a lot about the the little, very, very minuscule things that I kind of look at for, for when I'm looking at just, you know, design overall. Oh, I'm so glad it's actually not clean, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love also the typography in the bottom is actually really really well kind of put together you got the pink lemonade I'm guessing that you said that's a song right yeah yeah oh I love the I love the fact they also had kind of the 3d value of it too really really easy and simple to do but also if you didn't do that it probably wouldn't be as strong so I can definitely appreciate that we're gonna scroll down just do it Nike okay I'm always the biggest like I, I never do this anymore okay for the record but for me, the only thing about this one I'm not like the biggest fan of is the renew, right? And for whatever reason, yeah. it, it gets in front of the actual concept of the extra shoe that you're trying to showcase. Like, right, yeah, it's a I little bit distracting that, yeah. in that way. If the renew, I guess, was so important, you know, then you can probably place a little bit further up or put it more in the actual audience's view. But I do think the fact mm. that it's actually like kind of in front of the advertisement kind of like weighs the idea of being an advertisement over just kind of being a really fun poster. This is what merch stuff here too. I would say the immediate thing I would always, always recommend you to do if you guys are like working on merch and whatnot, um, is if you were to actually showcase the entirety of the actual clothing or the entire cloth of the actual piece is so, so important. You want to make sure that you can actually see all the pieces. Um, it's super, super important to actually nail the actual fact that you're looking at pieces in its entirety, especially when you want to sell things, right? All right, so next we have MK with his Suter Esports portfolio. Yeah, I definitely like this for the sort of like start of this is like really, really nice and pretty. I feel like I can see everything in the project right right away and almost kind of like in a way it's almost like, how do you say there, but not so much there as so you have to still go through it. Match cards. All right, I went for a simplistic minimal style, different approach for logo placements as compared to my other esport graphics. Oh, okay. I love the fact that you kind of have this really cool sort of like flow lines with this little nice simple, how do you say, uh, contrast with the actual drop shadow to help out take away or how do you say create a nice foreground and nice background in there i also think the actual sort of like little fun and squiggly lines are really really nice touch to kind of like throw in and add an element i actually really like this little white kind of like sort of how do you say it like almost like a heading almost um it almost adds a bit of a 3d effect to it uh just makes it look a little bit more or less how do you say just 2d and flat very easy to do and i just love how you kind of put that together what's this little animation going on oh okay oh okay that's 
Wait, <laughs> that's actually so sick. I actually really, really love that. I was only gonna say my only excuse of like adding in this little sort of like zigzags, I feel like it wasn't placed throughout the entire project. However, when you actually look at the animation, it's a pretty big part of it. I feel like feel these sort of like sort of sort of jagged lines going through. Um, the sort of like of course you weigh the cut as well. The cut wait, I'll cut away. This is actually so so nice. Okay, I'm also a big big fan of this actually. The fact that you actually have it based like all of these over here are like this darker blue, nice baby blue, like a nice little lighter blue kind of tone here. This one down here has a little darker blue, lighter tone, um, but also makes it feel less kind of how you say repetitive, right? So I definitely do like how that feels, definitely how that looks. Like even when you go through like, I guess, looking at different kind of events and whatnot, you kind of have a nice little color change as well. Say if you're definitely struggling with like, how do you, how do you say like, uh, using the same things over and over again, change the color around. Especially if it's a different, like a different uh, event, definitely change the color is a really, really good way to actually incorporate a very fun, less aggressive, same kind of things over and over and over again. So the overall like sort of like progression, how the portfolio actually gets to point A to point B, very nice, very entertaining the entire way through. MK, you killed this brother. 16 years old. Holy shit. You're actually so good. <laughs>so next portfolio is by Lominus, which is a nice oath gaming sort of like presentation for an esport org so for me i do think i love the actual fact that the black and white sort of like really cool sort of like uh almost very very aggressive very very of course grunge and grit but of course combined together with this nice little lighter tone of a yellow um with of course being brushes as well kind of all matches makes it look very nice nice and cohesive yeah even like the little threshold pattern in the background here is actually super super dope it all kind of gets that idea of being grit and very fun and very uh open to that little sort of like element uh, when i look over here i'm seeing that the, the text is a little bit close to the left hand side i mean i'm not like super opposed of it or whatever i just feel like i, I wish it my whole entire body is telling me to move it over to the right hand side just a little bit uh, i'm sure any someone will probably agree with me oh i love i love this little the layout here is very very pretty very i love the way you kind of like your camera off filter skills are very very good like actually very very well put like some people out there do not really know how to navigate the the use cases of like clarity and texture you're actually killing it by the way i love the little layouts like the, they stay consistent they're very very hype they're very how do you say engaging very have they have a lot of energy to it okay you even have little sort of like presentation little parts of it so i see like these are obviously live tweets is really good but even if they weren't live tweets and you're going to put in like little mock-ups of how they would use or how they would be seen on social media that is super super strong oh i love seeing even more little mock-ups like this i cannot lie now if this project had like really cool little mock-ups where like even if it's like people walking by and you see your mock-up behind it that kind of stuff is very 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 attractive even if it's not like something you would normally do or normally see it's just like what a different scene like this in esports if you were to put these little mock-ups in the real world concepts and kind of have that be seen rather than looking at like this right here i feel like once i seen like this going live image or this grand final image this layout the same thing over and over and over again that's what kind of makes the actual portfolio repetitive but if you break that apart with like cool mock-ups it just makes it look super endlessly cool Alright guys, that's the end of the video here today. So basically, I want you guys to know, is this fun? Is this cool? Let me know. Leave a like on the video to showcase or show me that it is cool. Um, Because I don't know. I want to do it. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. And hopefully you guys do too. But this is one of like, what, three other series I'm going to be starting very soon to see and try out. Because uh, I'm kind of in that stage right now. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, I love you guys. Sesso HQ out. Uh, I said if you guys enjoyed, I love you guys. But if you didn't enjoy it, what does that mean? I hate you. I still love you, but I just love you a little bit less. It's fine. But yo, that's so what HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love and enjoy your week. Enjoy your weekend. All that good stuff. Peace.